When I'm talking to clinicians, uh, my sales pitch to them, my message to them is spend a little bit of time investing in training and using this product, using the Open Eyes product, and the benefits to you will be enormous. Uh, and they will come very quickly. Uh, to trust, I'm saying, if you do this, you will get massively increased quality of management, clinical information, you will get outcomes analysis, but also you will get productivity and efficiency savings, which will more than pay for any investment you need to make. And to patients, I'm saying, you know, this is, this is the future, having your data electronic, it's going to help the management of your condition, it's going to improve your safety, and it will feed back information that you need that you can get in other walks of life, but at the moment you can't get in medicine. The patients are seeing quicker. Their follow-up is a lot more precise. We don't depend on handwritings that we don't understand. So actually everything is in an understandable, legible way. Uh, you have drawings that actually reproduce it over time. So you don't depend on artistic visions of the clinicians. You can reproduce the drawings over, tr over time. Um, you don't depend on handwritings and, you know, as they say, doctors' handwritings are the worst. And I can vouch for that. <laughs> so that's, that's one big step for the patient. It's safer you know what's happening to them. We need a absolutely brilliant clinical patient record system for our own patients. We provide world standard, benchmark standard care to our patients and we need a world standard software system to support that. OpenEyes being open source offers a huge potential benefit to UK, particularly our black and ethnic minority uh, population. They aren't sufficiently large in the UK for significant rare disease research. By creating an open source system, we can deliver electronic patient records and the knowledge gathering that that represents to the host original populations in their own countries. That gives us base populations sufficiently large to benefit not just those of our patients here in the UK, but um, the native populations in their home countries. So potentially magnifying the benefit to eye care across the globe many times over. Let's imagine you had a cataract and you asked what the risk of complications is. I would then tell you it's about 2% for the most common complication of cataract surgery because that's the national average uh, and that's our average at Moorfields as well for all the patients that we see. But in fact, that risk is much, much higher for certain conditions of the eye. So a cataract that's very mature, that's been there a long time, one that's a little bit wobbly uh, and therefore might fall back during the surgery, an eye with a very small pupil, which makes the surgery more difficult. Those factors are known about, but if we collect that information electronically and you then say to me, uh, what's my risk of cataract surgery, I can press a button and the system can calculate it and it might be 10% in your case or even higher. And that's good for the patient for two reasons. Firstly, they're getting an accurate assessment of the risk. But secondly, for very high risk cases, we can make sure that a more senior surgeon is available to do that particular operation and therefore reduce the risk of complications actually occurring. With a specialty like glaucoma, which is a very common cause of vision loss throughout the UK and, and worldwide, we have to collect a lot of information from very tedious devices, visual field devices, computers that record what you can see, devices that allow us to measure the pressure in the eye. At the moment, all this goes into a paper folder and we can spend minutes, tens of minutes, in a consultation just getting that in order. Open Eyes puts that in order for us. And not only that, allows us to do analysis of this information so that we know how you're doing. And we can say to you, in just a few minutes, everything's fine. Or we can say, well, actually things aren't quite as good as they should be, and we need to change treatment. But if we do that, we're doing it on a really firm and robust evidence base, in a way that, regrettably, we, we, we can't really do at the moment. We think that the Open Eyes project can extend, certainly within ophthalmology, within the UK. We've got so many ophthalmologists involved, 
our aim is to make this the best possible ophthalmic record. So we think it's a very realistic um, concept that trusts that trust that offer ophthalmology in the UK could all be using open eyes within a few years. However, it may also be applicable outside, and we're particularly interested in the developing world. Um, and we have uh, partners in the developing world, one of which is Orbis, the international eye charity, who are planning to use our electronic record on their flying operating theatre, the, the plane that's fitted out to do eye surgery, but also in their in-country programmes. And we also have a grant from the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust to put open eyes into ophthalmic units in Commonwealth developing countries. And there's a lot of excitement there where sometimes they don't even have the facilities that you see around us. And I've visited ophthalmic units in Tanzania where the only medical record is a notebook kept by the ophthalmologist in his briefcase as he goes around. 